Yo yo Gemini, what's up? I hope you're well. My name is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be um, an overview for next year, 2022. I don't know why my voice got all squeaky there. <laughs> um, just going to see what the crack is for next year, if I can shuffle my deck. Um, I hope you're well. You're very, very welcome here, Gemini. Thank you for taking the time to check out the reading. I really appreciate it. And you know, if you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel called to do that, I'd appreciate that a lot. Um, so we're gonna take a look at like messages from spirit, the overall theme for the year, and then career and finances and love, and then a few oracle cards to close down the reading. Wow. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. <clears throat> That's an interesting one. Five of Cups. Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay, if the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Um, so your opening message for the reading is the Two of Cups. If I can just get it to focus. So beautiful opening message to have at the start of the reading, Gemini. Of course, it can talk about love, um, but you know more than that. It it comes, it talks about um, coming together. You know, it talks about um, you as a person becoming whole. Do you know what I mean? Like kind of amalgamating all the things. Taurus had something similar actually, um, that Two of Cups, like that was Taurus's um, obstacle for the year. But you know, I feel like you're gonna start off early on, things are gonna start coming together this could be aspects of yourself that you might have been resisting for a while. Um, usually the Two of Cups involves like uh, self-realization about something. So you might realize something about many things, you know, um, you might get a better direction of where you're going in life, but just generally the Two of Cups is like unification of the self. You know, you're going to feel really balanced this year, Gemini. You're going to feel good. You have the Six of Pentacles. Speaking about balance, the main theme for the year is the Six of Pentacles. So you're going to feel very balanced this year. Things are going to feel a lot more stable, a lot more sturdy. I also want to say with the Two of Cups, it's possible you might be meeting a soulmate fairly early on in the year, or you might be coming together with someone fairly early on. Um, you also have the Six of Pentacles for the main theme, so I feel like there's like a lot of loads are going to be taken off your shoulder this year, Gemini. A lot more people are going to be wanting to help you. There could also be um, uh, an increase in money for you this year, Gemini, with the Six of Pentacles. You might get some kind of promotion or you might get a raise in your salary or something. Of course, this could be a specific person. There's just a lot of more help coming towards you this year, Gemini. Things are going to start feeling a lot more balanced. It's important for you to stay balanced. You have the Queen of Pentacles for the best way to achieve your goals. Um, stay grounded because it's so easy. You know, I'm a Gemini myself. Um, I can't remember if I said that, but it's so easy for Geminis to just fly off into the atmosphere and just, you know, not really live in the real world, you know, like always planning for the future, or spend your life just on the internet, do you know what I mean? And like not actually take stock of what's going on around you. So it's important to kind of stay grounded, you know, make sure you're taking care of your health, make sure you're taking care of the house, 
you know, make sure you're like eating properly, you're balancing the budget, you're planning for the future, but in terms of not daydreaming about it, but actually put like implementing proper plans and things for the future. You have the King of Cups, see again for your actions to take. Now the King of Cups is all about self-mastery. Oh my god, I can't hold the card. Um the King of Cups is all about self-mastery. He is all about being in control of your emotions. You know, um, not flying off the handle, like not, like being patient, being calm, being methodical, being um, willing to wait for things to come about properly instead of kind of getting impatient and like charging off on some kind of you know, crusade of the lower will, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, I can't, you know, if I can't have this job, then I'll just take this crap job, just whatever, you know, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> that kind of energy, you know, um, I think it's important to stay grounded this year and stay balanced. You might also, now don't freak out, okay, but you might have to get more in touch with your emotions this year, Gemini, with that King of Cups. There might be cer certain situations or people that call for you to be a lot more expressive with your emotions or you might have to get in touch with emotions you've not dealt with for a long time. Um, also with, you know, kind of a similar energy to that too of cups, you know, because that, unfortunately, that is what like unification of the self means, like getting in touch with the shadow self and integrating it, you know what I mean? So you're not just stumbling around and making the same mistakes over and over, you know. You have the Wheel of Fortune in your departing energies. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about divine timing. So I feel like things, you've kind of been waiting. You've kind of been in wait mode, maybe for last year. I feel like in particular last year, maybe not a lot happened for you. But that's kind of the energies are departing from that this year, like things are, it's the right time, you know, and I, I want to say things might happen kind of fast because they're, they're making a very big point that you have to stay grounded, which makes me think that things might catch you a little bit off guard. And there's certain things, yeah, like I said, you're going to have to get in touch with your emotions about, but not in a reactionary way, like a, a, in a genuine, like, how do I actually feel about this? You know, instead of that Gemini thing, because you can't hide from me, Gemini, I do it too, okay? That whole, like, I'm just going to make a joke. <laughs> or like, um, I'm just going to pick a fight with you, haha, <laughs> and then you'll never know how I feel. Um, you know, I think there's a movement away from that shit this year to actually think about what it is you really want and how you really feel about things. You have, this is interesting, we're going to have to clarify this one, you have the two swords in your future opportunities. So I'm going to clarify that one. Um, you have the Five of Cups in your obstacles, which is fine because it's only an obstacle, you know. So the Three of Cups, you know, well, the Five of Cups, but the Three Cups that are kicked over, you know. Um, this card talks about, you know, being sad about the past. You know, it's going to mean different things for different people and that can mean anything. It doesn't have to just be, this is not just a love reading, this is about everything. You know, so the Five of Cups can talk about mistakes you've made in the past. You know, not wanting to keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Um, somebody kicked your cups over in the past and now you're kind of scared. Because I think it's interesting that you have this Two of Cups is your opening energy. See how he has this Two of Cups behind him? He doesn't really see it because he's too busy focusing on all the, the stuff that happened in the past. So there's this Two of Cups energy that's trying to come in. Things are trying to come together for you. And I think they will very quickly in the year is what I want to say because you have this Two of Cups right off the bat. Um, but the, I think the only thing that's going to get in the way is, you know, being worried that like, m you know, mistakes are going to repeat themselves, you know, from the past. You have the Four of Cups in your talent section, <laughs> which I could make a joke about Gemini's here, because obviously the Four of 
Cups uh, talks about like being bored, <laughs> which is one of our talents, right, Gemini? Uh, you know, I'm bored, what's the next thing? But that's not what it means. Um, you know, the Four of Cups here is your talent is like being open to opportunities. That is one of the Gemini talents, you know. We are very flexible, you know, we bounce back pretty quick. Most of the time, we bounce back pretty quick, you know. We're fairly open to different things that are coming in. Um, so I feel like the, there is, they're saying kind of use that talent this year because there is something coming in. You have the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups, there's some kind of opportunity coming in here. Um, the Knight of Cups, again, this talks about express, expression of the self, you know, being more willing to express emotions, um, being more willing to kind of put yourself out there on a real level, you know, um, it could also be having something creative that you want to bring to the world because the Knight of Cups is an energy of like, okay, here I am, here's my thing that I'm offering, this is what I offer. Um, it could also be talking about a love offer coming in. You have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Um, So you're really moving, I'm not going to go too far into the bottom of the deck, but you have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So the Hierophant talks about being in a place of quite a powerful place. You know, the, the Hierophant is someone who is very well respected. You may find this year that you've moved into a place where people are starting to kind of respect you more. Um, because you're kind of more... You're listening to your higher self more. You know, you're being, the Hierophant is also a card of, it's being open to what the universe has to offer you, which is one of your talents, you know? And I feel there are a lot of offers coming this way, coming your way this year, Gemini. So the Hierophant is a card of like, um, being open to what the universe has to offer you. But you may find as well, your status is elevated somewhat this year, Gemini. You know, you maybe have, I don't want to say you have more power, but I want to say it's because you've kind of entered this realm of like, you know what, I don't even care. <laughs> like, I just, don't, I just don't even care um, about what you think or what you're trying to do to me now, you know? You can't touch me. There's something kind of higher level about your attitude this year, especially with that Two of Cups, you know, it's just kind of an energy of like, I just, I think people are just not going to be able to touch you this year. But the thing is, I think with that Five of Cups, it's really important that you keep the focus, keep yourself grounded, like, um, don't give in to baser emotions, like, don't let yourself wallow in the past, you know, Gemini? If there's something in your past that's bumming you out, you know. That was crap. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, so let's do career and finances and love. Yeah, you definitely have an offer coming in in love. So in terms of career and finances, um, just as I'm talking about that, you have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I really feel there's a lot of money coming towards you this year, Gemini. You could also be signing some kind of contract, like you might get a new job. Um, the Strength card here in terms of your career. The, I, I don't know if you've been working, I think, who had that? Does someone else have that? I forget. Um, you might have been working in a, in a job or previous jobs where you felt like you didn't fit in 
before maybe you were kind of you know because people tend to hate on Gemini's you know because we shine and people are like I don't like that bitch you think she's all that you're like no <laughs> you think I'm all that you're insecure um but you may have had like a lot of clickiness or like people you know lots of politics or um you know you just didn't really feel at home in the job that you were doing before but with the strength card you know you're you're really going to find your niche this year like you're really going to find a place where you feel very strong like a place where you if there was a lot of bickering and backbiting in your last job um or in your job you know that's going to end this year so i don't know if maybe someone else is going to leave in your job or um you're going to get moved to a different department or it's like you just get a job where you feel a lot better, you feel a lot more comfortable, you feel a lot more suited to it. You have the hanged man in terms of your finances. So there's something, this is a new perspective that's coming in about your finances, Gemini. Oh my God, why aren't you focusing? There we go. There's a new perspective coming in about your finances with the hanged man. Like it might have taken you a while to get to this kind of, something where you've signed a contract or to get to this level of abundance it might have taken you a while and you're starting to get like um there's been a lot of deliberation about your finances and in some some way the universe is giving you a new perspective about it i don't know if you maybe didn't save before or like now that it's you've got more money or you're more solid because you've signed the contract it's giving you something new to think about. Like maybe you're going to buy property, you know? Let's just see what comes out. So I'm going to do cards for like each quarter of the year. So Spirit, can we have the career? And then we'll do the love, please. You're releasing, in terms of money, you are releasing. I think it'll happen around about April, May, June. You're really gonna start to relax into this new money that you have. You're gonna be letting go of like a, like a fear of losing the money. You have the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck, so you're gonna get some kind of fame, recognition, success for something that you do in your job. Queen of Wands just shot out there and the two of wands so there's maybe something you've been working very hard at and you're about to get recognition for it like you've put in the work and now you're about to shine you know six of wands queen of wands that's all about shining getting public recognition being appreciated for what you do get what you want fairly early on in love next year Gemini Queen of Cups uh, the Fool and the Two of Cups Wow you have a nice reading Gemini right this has all been Aries had a similar reading I think um the hanged man, you know, it kind of looks like things have been leading up to this year because you have everything you need now. Look at that, the ace of cups underneath it. There's like opportunities galore coming in this year, Gemini. You got everything you need now. They were preparing you before so that this year 
you would be able to accept the abundance that's coming in. The only thing that's going to hold you back is um, a little bit of paranoia <laughs> about like waiting for the other shoe to drop, thinking it's too good to be true. But yeah, you have everything you need now. And this is the master manifester, which is what Geminis are. We're really good manifestors, you know, because I think it's the combination of having like a good imagination and just going for things, you know, not because I mean, we do overthink, but we still just do it, right? But you have everything you need this year and it's time for action. This year is all about action because the full, like the preceding card is all about kind of like the preparation, you know, I always see it like the fool is kind of like packing your bags and then the magician is when you actually take the flight <laughs> for the new journey, you know. Um, so in terms of career, you have the Knight of Cups for January, February, March, and then you have April, May, June is the Nine of Wands. So especially with that <clears throat> Nine of Wands coming out underneath the Hanged Man, there's a new perspective coming in and I want to say I want to say there's like this opportunity with the Knight of Cups that comes in early in the year right so this is somebody giving you an opportunity this is an opportunity coming in from the universe it could be something to do with being creative like something that allows you to be creative because I think in the first few months of the year you're really going to put yourself out there And then with this Nine of Wands and the Hanged Man, I do feel you're, like I said earlier, you're releasing this suspicion that ever, like the, the other shoe is going to drop and it's all going to go tits up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's this new perspective that comes in about money. And then in the last half, apologies, Gemini, in the last half of the year, you have the Wheel of Fortune for July, August, September. And you have the Two of Swords for October, November, December. Let's just pull a card for that Two of Swords. There's an offer, you're gonna think, you are going to think that, that, that what is happening next year in your career is almost too good to be true with that nine of wands, okay? But you're going to get past that. I think you're going to have a little blip <laughs> around about like April, May, where you're like, oh my God, this is too good to be true. What is happening? But you're going to get past that, okay? I, I think around about, uh, what did I say? Like July, I'm terrible with maths and counting. July... August, September is when things are really going to start falling into place and being very smooth. You know, you're really going to feel like um, you're where you should be. Because I think you're really going to release, I think you have this thing about money, Gemini, where you're always trying, because people say that Gemini are careless with their money, but we're not, right? Um, I, th I think you're going to be releasing this, like, I think you've been overworking or you've been kind of scared about money. And I think this is what's getting released around about July, <laughs> August, September next year. Okay. Because you're going to really, truly realize that you have abundance and you're going to relax. Clarify those two stories, please. So you have the um, Two of Swords with the Knight of Swords at the end of the year here with the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there's something at the end of the year, next year, about not playing it safe, Gemini. Especially with that Knight of Swords, like they're saying, go for it. There's something here, like don't try and block out some kind of opportunity that comes 
there's some kind of opportunity that comes your way. I think you're going to have a few opportunities next year, Jim, and it will too. <laughs> um, but I see two here, like one at the start and then one at the end of the year. I feel like there's another opportunity coming maybe to learn something new, like a new job. Um, and for some reason, it kind of puts you in this eight of swords when you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to move. But they're saying, don't play it safe, like go for it. Don't let emotions get in the way of whatever this opportunity is. So yeah, I'm actually going to leave it there for the career um, and finances. So let's look at love, your love life, Gemini. So very nice energy for your love life. Ace of Pentacles is the overall energy. So you have an offer coming towards you, all right? Um, that Ace of Pentacles, you know, see the little gate down there leading to something serious, you know, has the potential to lead to something serious like the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. It has the potential to lead to commitment. You have the star. Very early on in the year. Okay, we're going to do some clarification gems. So let's clarify that star because it can have a couple of meanings. Okay, that's pretty quick. So you have the star with the lovers. The tower. There's a real peace coming in with someone towards the end of the year. And just as I'm saying that, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck and you have the Six of Swords, which is moving into a place of much, much more peace, stability, harm, harmony, tranquility. So um, October, November, December, you have the Two of Cups with the Four of Swords. So you're really, this is union with someone by the end of the year like real union, you know, it's a connection that just continues to grow closer and closer and closer. And it brings you a lot of peace with the Four of Swords. By the end of next year, Gemini, there's going to be real peace in your love life. I don't know why I'm going backwards. <laughs> so this is like July, August, September. You have the Fool with the Nine of Wands. So I see by this time next year, this is really when you let your guard down in terms of love, because with the nine of wands, whether you realize it or not, um, maybe you fully do realize and you're like, bitch, I know, I know I have my guard up, but the nine of wands, like you do kind of have your guard up um, until around about July, August, September next year, which is when you kind of decide to start trusting whoever this person is. Um, or to trust the universe, you know, and put yourself out there with whoever this person is. So you have the star with the lovers and the tower. Whatever the star is, it happens very quick with the tower. There's something unexpected that happens in the first three months of the year. Who is this person? Give us a bit more on that star, please. The Three of Wands. There's some kind of reconciliation that comes in in January, February, March. It's some kind of reciprocation, Gemini, 
with the Six of Pentacles here, it's some kind of reciprocation. And with the Empress here, it could be Taurus or Libra energy coming in, but there's growth, there's real growth here with whoever this person is in the first three months. And I want to say it's a reconciliation. So for the majority of you, um, I want to say for those of you who are waiting for a specific person, they're going to come around in the first three months. And I want to say for those of you who do not have someone in mind, it may be you might meet someone April, May, June. I want to say April, which I know in Gemini world is a long, long time. But, you know, the cards say what they say, Gemini, I'm sorry. I can't make time go faster, unfortunately. I would do it in a heartbeat if I could. Um, but you have the Three of Wands and the Four of Cups. I just, I don't know if you're just not interested in this offer that comes in. Or you're thinking too much about the past. Why is that four of cups there? This is something you've been waiting for. Somebody is coming in to offer you long-term commitment. They've worked very hard on this offer. I just think you're kind of defensive with them. You're just kind of defensive. They come in very fast, whoever they are, but you're kind of like, blah, 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 blocked. <laughs> See, that's you, Queen of Swords. You very, very much in your divine feminine energy, if you identify with that in the first three months of next year in terms of love. With the lover's card, it's a soulmate though. This is a soulmate, whoever this is. I'm gonna try and get who this person is. Who is this person? Queen of Pentacles, it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. There's someone, it's a newer energy, Gemini. It's a newer energy. Page of Cups could also be a Pisces. So it's a reconciliation with a newer energy. Um, could also be an Aquarius. It could be a Gemini, Taurus, Libra. It could be an Aries. But they seem to come in kind of fast and I don't know why you're not interested in the offer. But they, they seem to be, it's, it's like some, it's some kind of new energy, you know what I mean? I don't know if maybe they just made you wait and you're just like, get out of here. <laughs> don't you know who I am? <laughs> um, and I feel like this is for the singles here. In fact, you know what? I don't think that's what that is. I think this is for everyone. Um, I think there's like, if you're not, If you don't have a specific person in mind, I think you meet this person in the first three months of the year. They could be a single mother. They could be, they might have their own business with the Queen of Pentacles. They might work from home. Uh, they might set their own hours like a contractor. That might be like your heads up, you know. But they're very, very loving, very supportive. And I think here, this is kind of... Um, Whoever they are, they come in fast, all right? It's, a, it's fast. And I see here, yeah, this queen, thank you, Spirit, the Queen of Cups here with the Knight of Cups. So this is around April, May, June. Um, I don't know if it just takes, I think you're gonna make this person work for it and I don't really know why, Gemini. Um, but yeah, I see you kind of thawing out <laughs> around about April, May, June. I don't know if you're deliberately making them work for it or they just, you're suspicious of them because you're just suspicious. 
you know, because you have this four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I see you opening up. There's a movement forward in the situation at like April, May, June, when you start to soften. And I don't know if that is like a deliberate, like, okay, I forgive you for being an ass, or it's like you genuinely start to feel more comfortable with them around about that time and you start opening up and giving more of yourself to this person. But you will be in a committed relationship by the end of the year, Gemini. You might even be you might even be married or engaged or something by the end of the year next year, which is a pretty big call, but that two of cups energy, it doesn't mess around, you know? So I'm gonna do some oracle cards from the Akashic Tarot, so it's not really oracle cards, but I just use them as oracle because they're so they're so big. Look at that, Gemini. Don't hurt me, okay? Um, you have the what number? Thirteen, which adds up to a four, which is about manifestation, okay? Um, the Buddha prepares. So this card, please don't hurt me, is all about divine timing, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. You want to hurt me. I kind of want to hurt myself for saying it. Oh my god, you're not even... I have to... Oh god, spirit. <laughs> you have three cards about divine timing, one after the other. I have to show you the cards because they're so pretty. Ooh, I'm so pretty. <laughs> so you have uh, the Seven of Scrolls, Intricacies and Industry or something. You have the Sands of Time. And you have the Buddha Prepares, okay? So these are three cards all about divine timing. The Buddha Prepares talks about, and it is a number four, so it's about manifestation. Um, it talks about trying not to rush the process, not trying to get to the finish line before you're ready. Although I would just like to say, Spirit, you're supposed to get to this finish line. That's the whole point, but what do I know, right? Um, yeah, like there, you've been in a period of preparation so, you know, they just want you to know, like, this is, this, everything is happening in divine timing, like your job, this love that's coming in, you coming into union with yourself, it's all happening in divine timing, so try not to rush the process and get frustrated, <clears throat> because they're actually saying with this card, the time is now, like, last year was preparation, or the last couple of years was preparation, but the time is now, and intricacies and industries talks about the great cathedrals of the of Europe, you know, like Notre Dame and stuff, and it says like, you know, they haven't lasted for such a long time because they were thrown up quickly. They've lasted for such a long time because it took, you know, they were very carefully built on a very solid foundation. So they're saying that your life, your new life, which is coming into play, is being built on a very solid foundation, which is why they've made you wait. So don't shoot the messenger, okay? <laughs> okay, spirits, so. Okay, you have the Seven of Roses for January, February, March. You have the Ark of the Covenant for April, May, June. You have Spring, Autumn for um, July, August, September, and you have Loving Elementals for the end of the year. That's such a cute card. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of, there's gonna, this year is gonna be a bit of a deep dive for Gemini, I think, having to kind of, I want to say, this is going to sound cheesy, but there's almost like a new you coming out this year, Gemini, and it's like you've been preparing for it. So the first cards for January, February, March, you have the journey. So you, some, some of you might literally be moving at the start of the year, um, or you might be starting to travel a bit more or something like that. This card shows it's time for a journey, a move or a relocation. You may be taking your work or creative endeavors in a whole new direction, whether figuratively, 
to a new industry or literally to a new city. No, this is about um, the new you with that two of cups at the start of your, your, your reading at the very beginning. This is about taking the journey to a new you, basically, Gemini. Some of you could actually be moving, but you're you're going to new places and greater opportunities. It may require leaving something safe behind, but this is not the time for staying safe in the harbour. It's a time for finding and exploring new worlds, so get packed. So some of you could literally be going abroad, but um, basically they're saying in the first three months, pack your bags because shit's about to change <laughs> and it's not changing back. I, th I really think the last year has been a lot of like purging, you know, and getting yourself in the right place so that this can begin. And you have number 11, the Ark of the Covenant. So obviously 11 is a very important number. Um, you know, because it boils down to number two, which is like balance and you have like the 11-11, which is like perfect timing. Um, it, it, this card indicates, so by March, so April, May, June, you're going to be living true to your own karmic contract, facing your lessons of growth, working towards greater discoveries and bringing your unique contribution to the world, which is interesting because you also had the Knight of Cups around about that time. So I feel like it's the time when you really start to open up and show the world who you really are instead of holding back. Um, yeah. Continue to work towards your highest purpose to uphold the sacred covenant you have to touch the world with your light. So there is something to do with growth around about that time. And I really, I think you're going to have to engage more with your emotions, Gemini. I think that's one of your lessons for some reason. I think there's something, there's someone coming in that's going to make you acknowledge your true emotions. You have spring, because it's upright, so you have spring for July, August, September, which is interesting because that's like nearly autumn. You are entering a time of planting and active preparation. Just as spring is a very full time for the farmer who is tilling the ground and planting his crop, so let yourself put in a little more effort now as you lay the groundwork for the time ahead. This could be a very creative period for you. Take action in creative projects or work-related endeavours that require more time and attention. The work you do now could yield great rewards later. Um, make sure you engage in this extra activity with joy and optimism. You are always planting your energy into the Akashic records of your life, so as you work towards your goals, remember to plant hope and happiness along with all the action you take. So, I don't know. I actually want to say with this card that I know the guy, what I'm actually picking up from the card is like spring is the time where things like come out, you know, like they blossom. Um, you know, it's like when all the flowers and the blossoms on the trees come out and stuff and like the birds, you know, start, you know, making, I don't know, the birds come out and stuff. Um, you know, I really feel about this time next year, like July, August, September, you're going to really feel like things are flourishing is actually what I want to say. I think you're going to be in a really good place around about that time because you're really going to have like stepped into this new you where you're kind of getting used to the fact that things are going really well you know what I mean and you're not waiting for the other shoe to drop and you have the three of roses loving elementals at the end of the year look at this card isn't she cute she is just the most she's the cutest kid so some of you might actually be pregnant by the end of the year they just put that in my head Yeah, you're really going to be very happy by the end of next year, Gemini. This card is here to tell you that joy will soon be increasing. So this is like the end of the year next year. It also encourages you to remember to have fun. Bring more playfulness into your daily life. Let yourself sing a little and laugh a lot. 
you're just going to be having a lot of fun by the end of next year. Things are really going to have come together and I think you're going to be very relaxed. You know, things will have sorted themselves out in the way that they should have. And I'm just going to get some advice cards for you, Gemini. What advice, whoa, that came out. Um, I'm just gonna take the top one. So that's the vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. So I don't know if you've been feeling like you've wasted your time. I don't know if you're waiting for a specific person or you're waiting for, I don't know, you're just waiting. Like you're waiting for a job to start or you're waiting to move house or something, but you feel like you've been wasting your time and they're saying no this has not been wasted time this is time that they've been preparing you and it's a number nine card so you're nearly at the end of this waiting period whatever spirit <laughs> um oh my god the lectures never stop you have the hummingbird spirit be here now so this is a card about living in the present, Gemini, um, because it's a seven card as well. So the sevens in tarot are all about, like you're kind of in, in no man's land. Like you've given, you know, you've closed down an old cycle, but you're not quite in the new cycle. So it feels like nothing's happening because it's not, nothing's happening because you're in no man's land. You kind of like, um, I don't want to say purgatory, but um, that's the example that came to mind. <clears throat> you know, but they're saying like learn to live in the moment, you know, don't be too worried about getting to the finish line and focusing on the future. What else please? You have the dog spirit and you have the snake spirit. Okay, so for some of you, this is a partner wanting to come in. Um, they want you to know that there's somebody coming in who's going to be very, very loyal to you. And that's a number two. That's the two of cups energy. That's, a, that's your soulmate. There's a soulmate coming in for some of you, okay? And this person's going to be very, very loyal. Loyal like a dog, Gemini. Um, but also it's come out with snake spirit, time to heal. So it's possible this person here who's represented by the dog has been needing some time to heal, okay, Gemini? Um, but I think maybe you've been needing some time to heal as well because there's this is a number 10 card and it's 2-5, so it's about changes and endings. So there's been a lot of change and endings. Um, I would say if you have a specific person in mind, for I would say for both of you. But in the time that it's taken for you to heal. They want you to do what you love. You know, do things that make you happy instead of kind of waiting for what it is you're waiting for it to come, whether that's a job or a person or, you know, anything. And you have the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back at the bottom of the deck there. And that's also a five card, so change is coming, Gemini. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gems. It was a pleasure to read for you as always. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the reading. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that, of course, Gems. And you know, have a wonderful 2022. All the best for 2022. Lots of love, Gemini.